In this video, I want to illustrate how Random Walk Metropolis can be used to sample from a quite an unusual distribution. So the distribution that we're going to be considering here is given by the unnormalized density, P of D, P of D, which is proportional to E to the minus 100 times D, where D is the perpendicular distance from the boundary of a cow. I'll come back to what this distribution exactly looks like in a minute, but before we do that, let's just define the random walk metropolis algorithm. So we start off by sampling some x, y, and z. This is a 3D distribution, it turns out, from some proposal distribution, which I'm just going to use a uniform distribution with particular bounds here. And here, because I'm sampling three of them, we're going to sample one x value, one y value, one z value, each from a uniform distribution with particular bounds. But the particular bounds here aren't important. Then what we're going to do is we're going to calculate our value of our distance, our perpendicular distance from the cow's boundary, using those x, y, and z values. And I'm not going to specify what that function is, and indeed I don't know what that function is exactly but I know how to calculate it numerically, and that's what I'm gonna show in the simulations later. And I'm just calling that thing f. Then what we do is for each iteration of random walk metropolis, we sample a proposed value of x, y, and z from a proposal distribution, which is centered on our previous values. So I'm just gonna use a bit of an abuse of notation here, just to say that we're going to sample x primed from a distribution which is centered on x, then we do it for y prime, which is centered on y. So I'm just using this as a sort of shorthand way of, of writing it. Then in my simulations, I'm going to use a very small standard deviation because it turns out this distribution is particularly uh, pathological. It changes a lot from place to place. So I'm going to use a small step size. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate a proposed value of d just using our function, which is f of x primed, y primed, and z primed. Then what we do is we calculate a ratio r, which is a ratio of the proposed unnormalized density, so e to the minus 100d primed over e to the minus 100d. And then the idea is that if r is greater than some uniformly distributed number between 0 and 1, then you move to that new point, so our new x, y, and z equal our proposed x, y, and z. Otherwise, if r is less than that, then our current x, y, and z stay the same for the next iteration. So you may be wondering what I actually meant by a cow here, and I've been referring to the cow distribution, and I'm just going to show you in Mathematica. This is the boundary around which we are constructing our distribution. So it looks something like this, and I can sort of rotate it around. So as you see, it actually is a cow. And so our distribution is defined from e to the minus 100d, where d is the perpendicular distance from any point to the boundary of the cow, the nearest, the nearest boundary to the cow, I should say. So what you can do is you can actually visualize our distribution for the cow, and you see that it's got its sort of highest value near the surface of the cow. So actually, the reason I've chosen e to the minus 100d is because essentially that gives a very high penalty to any point which is any distance away from the surface. And so our distribution kind of looks like that which is on the surface of the cow. Now I want to show the results of using the random walk metropolis algorithm to sample from this distribution. And as we kind of run this, what we see is that after I run, I think this is 6,000 iterations, the distribution, our sampling distribution, starts to resemble the surface of the cow very well. And so you can see here that we've used random walk metropolis to work with a distribution which is incredibly pathological. We don't have a hope in hell of normalizing this distribution. 
However, we've seen that nonetheless, the algorithm returns sensible results. And whilst this example is atypical of the types of problem that you encounter in Bayesian inference, it's not a million miles away from them. And we see that we've been able to use random walk metropolis to sample from this distribution when we wouldn't have any hope of being able to solve for the exact distribution analytically. And similarly, we would really struggle to use any sort of independent sampling to sample from this distribution.